Hey Libra, hey beautiful soul. So welcome back. My name is Summer and today I'm going to bring you a general energy read across the board for matters of the heart for the month of August. So as always, it is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want a more personalized channel uh, reading, I'll leave the link below for you to check it out and purchase what you wish to purchase, okay? So this is for matters of the heart for you and the person that you're inquiring about, whoever comes to mind, whoever has been on your mind, and um, of course, there's room for singles too. But take however it applies, don't just try to make it fit. Okay, so I've already pre-shuffled, gonna shuffle one more time for good measure. I'm gonna cut my card, and we'll get the overall general energy for what's going on for you and your person for August, for my Libras. Here we go. We have the moon secrets, things hidden, anxiety. We have the five of pentacles. Feeling lonely, alone. Two of swords. <clears throat> and four of pentacles. Please forgive my pup for whining in the background. He's very mad that I didn't let him in this time. He's upset with me. All right, here we go. Clarifiers for you and your person. Matters of the heart, August. Here we go. We have a king of pentacles reverse. <clears throat> Justice, if it will focus. The Emperor, Aries energy, and Libra energy. Wow, showing up in your own reading. And then we have Seven of Cups. Interesting. Okay, so, <clears throat> so Libra, for the month of August, I feel like you are in an energy where you're feeling very insecure. You're feeling very anxious, like you're putting on a good show for people, like you have it all together in front of your friends, la la la. But when it comes to like romantic partners, you are kind of holding back how you truly feel and that's that you you're you're lying about your stability. You feel like you do not have anything to offer anyone right now. You feel like you don't have enough to give to another partner and definitely can't be stable, but you're not communicating that to other people um, because this is very much a fear that you've had for a long time. Um, you feel unstable uh, mentally. You feel unstable financially, um, kind of in, in every form. You just don't feel great. You don't feel stable. It's constantly what is the next unstable thing that I have to deal with? Um, so you're not feeling confident and you're not wanting to move forward to anyone because on top of you, um, you know, not telling little white lies, just not telling the truth that you, you're, un you're too unstable to give anyone else stability, you know? So you're keeping this hidden and it's, it's honestly, creeping in your mind and creating a lot of fear and worry. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> the truth is you may be going through a period where 
you're struggling with finances and you may need to reach out for assistance is what I'm feeling. Um, also in regards to emotions, somebody may have reached out and reciprocated to you a message or thoughts or feelings that they don't want to take it any further. They, they want to jump ship. They want to abandon it and you're feeling the abandonment. And I feel like even though you weren't that serious about it, I feel more like this person was making a head over heart judgment call decision and decided to leave. Now you're just, it was like you were saying that was my last option. Um, now I really know that you're feeling like, now I really know that I, I genuinely am alone. Um, and you're just feeling like, even more than an external lonely feeling you're feeling like deep like alone in your soul like there's nobody that would be on this planet that would feed that that would help you get through that um so you're just really feeling it on all ends right now um What I feel is going on for you is that you're very indecisive. Um, if we're going to go the relationship route and talk about relationships, it's like you are very stuck in a bipolar world of trapped between intellectual and emotional. Yeah, I feel like you're trapped by your own feelings. A child is kind of got you very upset, perhaps, because there's a, there's a child in this card. Um, there's an Aries that's trying to get your attention, but you're not paying attention to them. It's like you're stuck between two worlds. One day, you're very boss-like. You're very fun to be around. You're very outgoing and charming and wooing, and you're... And you feel that way too. You're not even putting on airs. You're like genuinely feel that way. And then the next day you're stuck in a, in a, in a fog, in a draining, like black hole feeling like a wormhole. Like there's no one that understands me. I'm completely alone. I'm feeling like all this bad stuff all at once you don't want to talk to anybody so therefore you stop reciprocating then the people that you were connected to get confused but then lo and behold in a few days you're going to flip flop so it's like you are trapped within your own mind your mind is your own worst enemy blocking relationships and things in life in general Also, what I feel like you need to do, Libra, to achieve more balance in your life and more stability is to stop juggling people. Stop talking to more than one male or female at a time. It's like you create different types of relationships or conversations with different people so you don't have to feel lonely and also it kind of retracts and restricts you from making one or or getting too serious with any one of them to make a commitment it's easily in and out you have a lot of people wanting your attention and then you give it back and then you go back and forth so you are entertaining different people at different days. I don't think it's all at the same time. I think it's different people, different days. Um, and that's throwing you off balance. It's not like you think it's helping you. You think it's um, keeping you happy um, as far as getting attention or chatting with someone or fulfilling sex life. Um, so you never feel really lonely. However, 
it never goes anywhere more than that because your mind you're subconsciously thinking I don't really um, feel anything for any one of these people because you associate those actions with those people your subconscious your subconscious tells you um, I don't feel I'm not connected to that person I don't feel anything for that person so at the end of the day you really don't have anything to be stable it's like you're so used to to having instability that you're just bringing it in you're serving instability on a platter now so with entertaining all these people you think it's helping you but in actual reality it's not it's actually hurting you because then you feel like you put all of them in a jar and feel like they really don't care when in reality if you were to actually out of all those people connect with one and be consistent and give it a try you would feel more fulfilled you would feel more stable your protection, what you think is protecting you, is actually hurting you. Okay. So, that was a little broad, but um, it was there. Alright, so let's see the person that you're inquiring about, how they feel about you, and what they want from you. How do they feel about you, Libra? And what do they want from you? Six of Wands. Five of Wands. Okay. Two of Wands. Jesus. And Three of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to shuffle my clarifiers. So, a lot of passion. A lot of fiery passion someone is very attracted to you physically sexually intellectually I have fun with you but let's see the clarifiers I could totally flip the flip the script here we have ace of cups we have the fool five of swords and seven of pentacles so there's been a lot of conflict there's been some bickering back and forth some jealousy perhaps um, not seeing eye to eye how your person feels about you they want a new start with you they want a new beginning mainly they see the potential in you they see the potential of a good successful relationship I honestly feel like they're waiting on you to bring them something. Some sort of recognition. Some sort of putting them on, I don't know, treating them like a, a princess or a prince. Like courting them, dating them. They see the potential. They see it in you. And they want that, but they want it from you. They don't want to be the person trying to make it happen. Okay, Libra, next we have you guys both being hesitant on a new beginning uh, together um, because you guys have, like, conflicting ideas. Like, you guys aren't seeing eye to eye in what a new beginning with each other would look like. You may be at different points in your life right now. You guys just aren't seeing eye to eye, really. Like, I feel like one person is saying you don't quite understand what I'm trying to say. Um, and I don't think you care. So, there's been a little bit of bickering. There or will be. Um, you're just not seeing eye to eye on this new beginning. Therefore, it's keeping it stuck and blocked. Then we have the Five of Swords for the Two of Wands. Hmm. They see you fighting for this. They do feel like you recognize them as a soulmate. They recognize you as a soulmate. 
they do believe that you definitely somebody you've probably been with before and they feel like they could manifest a really bright and colorful future with you through hard work um, they think that you guys share similar personalities similar dreams see the world kind of the same or on the same pa uh, same page at that point and they see you as someone that would fight for them and they really like that they really like that they feel protected in your presence and they're also saying that they they want to um, they would be willing if they knew that they wouldn't be the only one working on it fighting for it because it takes two for a soulmate two people are picking up a boat together okay so we have um what do they want from you They want you to take a look at your life and really decide what you want. Are you doing what you want to do? Or look, really take a, a stop and look at your life. Take stock of your life. What have you created? What is there? What is stable? What is not? What can I do better? What, need, what do I need to let go of? They want you to follow your passion and make yourself happier because they, I can tell that they know that you're not because you keep looking for things to make you happy. They want you to follow your dreams and make yourself happy. They want you to do what's best for you because that's what real love looks like is the other person being happy for you um, and wanting the best for you so they really want you to go and I'm not gonna say fix your life um, work things out in your life that you need to to start making you happier to see life dif differently because they're saying you know we're not ever gonna be happy you're never gonna be happy in a relationship if you don't figure out your stuff first and what you want and what you want to create in life do you have a vision for the future so let's see the outcome Libra what will be the outcome for August Libra The star, the lovers, and the king of wands. Very, very interesting. All right. Shuffle in the clarifiers. the eight of swords for the first clarifier nine of cups for the second and judgment for the third hmm. might turn out pretty well so again overall I'm seeing you want a relationship you want a soulmate connection you want all those things that are you've spoke about you've thought about but for some reason, still, you're, you're trapped in your thoughts. You're trapped in your intellectual. You are stuck 
by your own mind. You're trapped by your own mind. Your mind talks you out of things daily, I feel like. Um, it's like you have all this passion to give, and then you're just, don't ever let it take flight. Um, but what that's ultimately doing, what this scenario is saying is, you are blocking yourself from healing. You're blocking yourself from happiness, from a beautiful life, from a renewed energy, but mainly from healing. It's almost like you are so used to being sad or up and down with your energy that this feels comfortable to you. Being stuck and indulging in your darker self, your more negative, sad self, is almost like your healing. You think it's your healing. It's almost like it's, it's almost like you're addicted to it. It's, it's like you like indulging in it. So you don't even want to unblock yourself from healing. You don't even want to try. Not worth it to you. Scared of a bad outcome, maybe? A lot of pain, but you're restricting yourself from having a new start, having something more. Then we have a soulmate connection. Um, you guys may come together to have drinks, have a sit down, get together um, with a soulmate, with a past, um, either past soulmate or past life soulmate that you've known before. And it's going to be very good. You're gonna have a really good time, a really good connection. Um, you're going to make a choice finally. You're going to actually put in action instead of just words. And it's because you're finally making a choice from the heart to go after your stability. So I actually see a relationship return. A relationship's going to return to good health because you choose yourself. You choose stability and what you want. You choose to make your wishes come true. And this is actually going to be true love that is long lasting. Somebody that makes you very emotionally fulfilled, but also lifts you up in the background and gives you a different perspective, but also snaps you out of things when you like to indulge in self-loathing, self-pity, woe is me. Um, but it's also going to comfort you when it's really time to be comforted. A partnership that brings stability, you can't see it, number six, is all about stability. Equal give and take in a relationship. Reciprocity. I put in this work and I get it back, basically. Even partnership. Nine of Cups is all about um, wish fulfillment, your wishes coming true. Something that you've been wishing on a star for. Um, and a little bit too much to drink on top of that. <laughs> okay, and then we have um, the judgment with the king of wands. So, you being the passionate person you are. But also kind of flighty. Needs to go with the wind. You receive support from this person that's very unexpected to you. So just as you bring justice to them, they bring justice back to you. And you're going to move forward and, and really have a passion for each other again. I have a feeling you are kind of theatrical um, and they like that about you. This is going to inspire you almost like your muse to
to live more, to go out there and try new opportunities. And I feel like just a lot of money after three months of this coming in for you because you've raised your vibration. You finally showed the universe that you take action. So then the universe reciprocates. A lot of this is going to be unexpected for you. You didn't feel like this person was going to make a decision to reciprocate back to you. You didn't expect, you know, the passion to be this high once you guys come back together. But it's going to be. So, let's see your advice cards for August. We have Deceit and communi Community from your... Um, Spirit guides, I can't think. <clears throat> Again, um, I really think this is you not really two things. Number one is you are not really taking care of business and healing that inner shadow self, that dark self that wants to self-loathe and stay in addictions and stay in bad habits that aren't good for you and never really hold yourself accountable. Um, you really not only, you know, fib to others or lie to others or wear a false mask to others, but you do it to yourself, telling yourself that you're happy that way and you're miserable. Then we have community. Usually this card means something totally different, but since it came out with deceit, there is someone that you are hanging around. There is someone in your energy on a regular basis, a friend, a coworker, somebody in the community, somebody that you may have known for a long time, maybe somebody you just met. However, somebody that's in your energy is keeping you in this deceit is keeping you in this repetitive toxic cycle where you've stayed for a, since I feel like you were a teenager. I feel like you're still doing the same things you were back then because it feels good and there's an a, there's a person you're around that is enabling that. And it's not just any person. I feel like it's a person that is going to lead you down the wrong path and it's going to progressively get worse. Then we have self-forgiveness. This is a good one for you because Libras are all about um, beating themselves up, self-sabotage. Um, you feel guilty for some reason, something... There's a, a huge amount of guilt that you're feeling something I keep hearing something you're saying that you didn't do I, I didn't do enough for this I regret this um, maybe you don't feel worthy enough to stop these things but it's saying you need to you need to forgive yourself you need to heal yourself and know that you are worthy because nothing good will ever come in for you if you just bash yourself 24-7 and get your vibe down, you know, then lack of self-confidence starts and just, it's a domino effect. Then we have from the Love Oracle, this could be the one. This could be the one. It says, you have already met the romantic partner you seek. So, again, it was somebody from the past. Then we have there is nothing to worry about. There is nothing to worry about. So think of something that you're most worried about on the planet right now. Something you can't get off your um, off your mind. Something that's very worrisome. Causing you heart palpitations. <laughs> can't sleep. It says, you are safe. And this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly 
to and through you. There is nothing to worry about when it comes to this situation. There is nothing to worry about. Then last but not least is my beautiful little adorable mermaid cards that you can't see because of the light. But you got prudence and you can't see it. Okay. It says, don't be lured by the siren song. That's interesting. Don't be lured by the siren song. So basically, don't be lured by stuff that you know is going to be shitty. Don't be lured by stuff that looks pretty, sounds fun, looks fun, then you feel like shit afterwards. Become more of a prude. Say no if you don't want to. Say your true feelings. Be a prude. Don't be lured. Don't be lured by anything. And I feel like this is a lot to do with your, your friends. But you'll know how, how that resonates with you. So, okay. I hope this helped. Um, let me know if it did. Leave your comments below. And check out my link and my website. I would love to hear from you, connect with you, do a reading for you. Um, and if not Libra, I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Peace, love.